Okay, the best. And we'll go ahead and uh, get started here and make sure everything is going fine. Here with me on AgWired Live TV, I have uh, Mike Hines. Uh, I know, Mike, you're president of the Crop Protection Division for BASF. And uh, first of all, tell me a little bit about uh, what, what your duties and responsibilities are in, in that regard. Yeah, BASF has 14 different operating divisions, one of, it, one of which is crop protection, and I'm in charge worldwide for the crop protection business for BASF. Well, thank you for having us in here to Washington, D.C. It has been absolutely, totally enjoyable so far, especially our, our fabulous wine tasting last night. Uh, when you look at the Crop Protection Division, tell us what, um, what are some of the things that American farmers in particular right now should know about what BASF is doing? I think BASF stands for Innovation Cube, so it's innovation, innovation, innovation. We think that we can bring innovation at several different dimensions to the farm gate. And I, th I know that our American farmers are concerned about productivity, productivity and productivity, so you can say productivity cube. And we believe that we have a lot of products and a lot of novel processes, business models, ideas that we can bring to the table, like I said, in order to increase productivity. Well, and I uh, meant to ask Dr. Marcinowski this. I'll ask you, though. Sure. The word, uh, and I don't even know how to you spell it right now, vervont. Yeah. What, tell me what is vervont? What does well, this mean? Well, vervont is a word that kind of uh, in, got introduced by BASF, and it basically means that in Ludwigshafen we have uh, a lot of plants that are sitting side by side, and so the, 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 uh, the, the waste of one plant is being used as a precursor by another plant. But you can translate this also into other areas. We also have a verbund of research scientists. I mean, we, for example, in agrochemicals or crop protection, we benefit from the knowledge of scientists in other areas, such in the polymer area, etc., etc. So, the boon just means that um, we are taking advantage of uh, synergies within the setup of our plants, or we're taking advantage in synergy of know-how, etc., etc. Well, we have heard it, and it seems like you said you you have so many different areas besides just uh, agriculture even that uh, it, that it makes sense that that you would find applications in uh, of technology in other areas that that might apply in a whole nother division what as we look forward uh, from the crop protection division I know you've got um, uh, uh, a new herbicide that you're you're in the process of waiting for that registration for the 2010 growing season here, I believe. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this, because I know it's one of your, um, it, it sounds like it's going to be a huge launch in terms of complexity, the number of crops that it can be used on, and um, and really big news for farmers here in the United States. Yeah, this is true. I mean, uh, for a long, long time, we didn't launch a herbicide. I mean, at a point we were, at some point, we were even thinking about, you know, getting out of herbicide research, but then we decided to stay in herbicide research for, for a couple of reasons, because uh, we felt that it would be very, very difficult to get back into it once we stepped out, and then we also always thought in a renaissance potential of uh, herbicides. And uh, so we stuck to herbicide research, and thanks God, timing is great, because uh, there is quite some resistance to uh, weeds, you know, in North America, a farm which our farmers are concerned about. And we got a, a new herbicide, a, a broadleaf type of herbicide, which can be used pre-emergent or burned down, either solo or mixed with our uh, chlorocetamides, our pre-emergent herbicides, or our IMI portfolio, or with glyphosate, to cam combat these uh, glyphosate-resistant weeds. And we submitted for registration in January of this year. Uh, it's a trilateral re review. It's something novel, which we have done, you know, by providing packages. I mean, pieces of the package to regulatory authorities in Canada, in the U.S., and also in Australia. And by that, we hope to reduce time to until we get registration, which we do expect somehow in the second half of 2009. Um, which so we hope that we would be able to start selling end of 2009. Yes, for the use season 2010. Right. Well, besides this new herbicide, what else would you uh, say are some of the things that we can look forward to as we as we go down the road with BASF? Yeah, some other things that we spoke about at this conference was that we are going to expand the use of headline. Um, uh, plant health type of product in other crops uh, because we have seen that it, uh, besides certain physiological effect, effects, it also um, it also provides certain cold tolerance and a few other things. So, I mean, I think we, we are going to see much more out of a plant health portfolio, which has started with F500 and soybean and corn. We're going to expand it into other crops and also into other uses. 
Great. Well, thank you once again for having us uh, journalists, and I don't know how many we had, but we just, it was a full room here today uh, to come in and, and meet you and learn more about what the company is doing. Uh, I think it's very helpful for all of us involved. So for AgWired Live TV, I'm Chuck Zimmerman. Let me stop that recording.